Are we ready? Hit it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a while. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. But we're back and we're better than ever. T. Bloom is here with a UFC-style podcast. Me and my special guest, J.C. Edwards, we're going to give you a breakdown of this upcoming UFC fight night. We're going to give you all our predictions, all the details of what exactly you'll need to know going into this fight night. JC, who the fuck are you, dude? Just let's just fucking put it out there. What makes you so fucking credible in the UFC? Well, honestly, nothing makes me credible. But I've been watching it since uh, I'd say probably two thousand five. Good old vagina. Good old Chris Lieben. Bring it away back, Chris Lieben live, and I don't know the red hair fiery maniac on Ultimate Fighter, causing fucking waves. That's what makes me feel. I've been wrestling since you were literally in diapers. Okay, now we don't okay, we don't gotta get into specifics. Used to, like that. Used to pin you with one hand. Okay. I mean we'll okay. go there. We'll there, go there. We're gonna go there early. Okay. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You used to pin me with one hand when I was fucking like two times your size. That's cool though. Or so two, you were two, two times, times my size. Two times and I was still oh pinning you with one two hand. Two times so less we'll your size. Way. So enough of the bullshit. We're here for fucking one reason. We're going to give you our goddamn predictions, and you guys can fucking take it or leave it. You don't even need to fucking watch the fights because our predictions are giving you the fucking... I mean, put it this way. Shit. We're not sponsored, but I might as well be sponsored by my bookie AG. Put it this way. Right oh, there. You shit. go on there right now. You use oh, promo code shit. JC Edwards. You might earn a little bit of free money. There might be a 10% rollover on there. Who knows? But guess what? You're here to play. Like I said, mybookie.ag, promo code JC Edwards. You might get a surprise. You might not. I might be full of shit. Who knows? All right. Let's take a shot. We're going shots up. It's Friday night, folks. We're fucking loose as a goose. We're having a good time. We're here for you guys. and uh, We're trying to make some money tomorrow. Who's betting on the fights? Who's betting on the fights? I know I can't. Either. I don't have any money in my account. Tell some of you guys use promo code. Like I said, it's my where it all comes back to using the promo code. JC Edwards, maybe I'll be able to make a bet. What's the fucking first fight? We starting out with uh, with we starting out with the main event, or we start out from the top bottom, the bottom top. Start off with the first fight of the night on the main card. Right, who's the fucking? This is all main card shit, all right, guys. We're skipping the prelims because we don't have time. To be honest, I can't pronounce any of these guys' names, who but you it? know who we're talking about when it's the first fight of the main card. Mark Diasis is what I'm rolling with. He's fighting the Russian guy. Slava is his nickname. Fighting out of American Top Team. Okay. Training with Uri Faber and the boys. Let's see if he can do something. What are you going with? You know, I'm going with the Russian. He's un- I think he's undefeated. I didn't do my research good enough. I'll be honest with you. I think he may be undefeated. Maybe maybe one loss. Mark Diaz, I I just I never seen him fight, so I I honestly couldn't tell but you. But he's like a him. fucking. Le- I mean, you know Mark Diaz. I don't, and I'll be honest. Really? I see. I I know him, but I've never actually like watched his fights. I, I just remember like all the UFC games name. we played with him. I remember the I remember the picture. That's all I remember. Yeah. All I see the picture of him. His, his red striped fucking mohawk. Yeah, that's the only thing I know about that guy. He's coming off two two fight losing streak, right, Mark? Yeah, he honestly he got tapped out twice by two Raphaels. I couldn't tell you their last name. Two They're guys all, named Raphael. Yeah, two different guys. Two Raphael. Like I said, can't tell you their last name. Right. I mean, he's training on American Top Team. Like you were wondering, if anybody was curious about it, I know, I know, you guys all are. So, but he's an England native out of Yorkshire. So I'm wondering what he's doing training on American Top Team. He should be over there training with uh, Leon and the boys. I don't know. Maybe Darren Dillon. That's who he reminds. He reminds me a lot of Leon. Adams. I honestly, I'm gonna go with Mark because I I do remember him. Like I do know he's like been in the fight game for a little bit. It kind of fucking surprised me when he's like the first fucking fight. On the thing fight is like, night. 
I don't know. I just I haven't fucking seen him fight. I just can't see. Him, I can't see him losing three in a row. That's my whole thing. So hot take here. To be honest, I think he loses and he's out. He's cut. Oh, he has to be cut. So I think he loses to the Russian. He's out of the UFC. It's a Russian takeover in the UFC right now. It's not good for us where we are in the world. We won't talk about that. Hey, 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 but, oh, oh, I'm trying to get canceled, okay? It's even talk show. We're not but, trying to get canceled. You got to do something. You can't let all these guys come in and just dominate every division. I mean, that's it's true. Americans need to step up. Fucking win some titles back. Step up. Do what we got to do. We, <laughs> we got to fucking do what we got to do. Even though this guy he's fighting isn't fucking from America. He's from England. He's, he's from basically Sa- Yeah, he England is-, is basically America, if you think about it. I mean, we separated from those guys because they're taxing us too much. And, but they're still our native. They, you know, we're still them. That's our, that's our guy. <laughs> Those are blood brothers. Okay, but we'll so, skip to the next fight. So JC's going the Russian. I'm going with Mark. Yeah, I'm going the Russian. But like I said, he's training out of Sacramento, California. He's a fucking beach guy. He's over there with Uriah Faber and the boys. All Cody, right, right, no right, love. Right. So we'll see what happens. All right, next fight. Let's see. We got Alexi Olenek versus Lear Mat. Alir Latifi. Lati- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we got Latifi fighting out of Sweden. For those of you guys who don't know, Alexi Olenek is a fucking 44-year-old man who has just been in the UFC <laughs> for fucking God knows how long. I mean, you see this guy, he looks like a grandpa. I mean, I'm just serious. You look at him, you say, what the fuck's my grandpa doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Somebody get this guy out of here. Because <laughs> somebody's going to hurt this guy. Then, all of a sudden, he fucking takes somebody down. Gets the neck and he fucking <laughs> him out. But. Who you going? With? I'm not even going to go there yet. I'm just going to let you know what's what happened to Olenek the last couple of fights. Okay, this guy's okay. fighting for his job right now. He got beat by his own fellow Russian, Sergei Spivik. Fucked him up. Don't know how. I couldn't tell you. I seen the fight though. I don't know what happened because I don't got the best memory. Then he got KO'd by the main event. Chris Dawkins and the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Yeah. Put him on his ass, put him to sleep. So honestly, if he doesn't win this fight, he's he's done. He's what about the other? Suit. What about the other guy? What, what's his uh fucking? And he's in the background? same boat. Amir Latifi. I mean, he's thirty nine years old. Right. Sweden. He's he's hit or miss. He wins the fights. He loses the fights. This he's, guy looks like a fucking action star in a movie. I mean, like, he's built like a dope. spark plug. I mean, this guy's built like a fucking spark plug. He's the same from head to toe. He's right. thick. You don't want to, you can't knock him out. All you can do is beat him. But, he just beat Tanner Bozer. If you guys remember the guy, the guy with the mullet. Shout out any Tanner out there, by the way. The guy with the mullet. I'm pretty sure he's fighting out of Canada, if I remember right. But, he beat him in his last fight. All right. Split decision. 39 years old. Hasn't won a lot of fights recently. This fight right here. Losers out. Winner keeps fighting in the UFC. I'm going to hot take. I'm calling it right now. You doing it? Losers cut. Well, for sure. For sure. But are you going to go for the hot take? Well, the hot take. I'm I'm taking Alexi Ah, Olenek. Alexi Olenek is choking him out. Round two. (laughs) I'm calling it right now. He's choking him out. This is going to be a tough one. Round two, dude. Every, you know everything in my heart wants me to fucking put in for Alexio Linick, but I just can't see a fucking forty-four, goddamn forty-four, five-year-old man winning a fucking UFC bout. I but, just, can't, I can't fucking see it. I can't. Yeah, I mean, he's lost three in a row. So if he lost three in a row, he's he's two in a row. No, he lost three. He lost to the Shit. Russian Sergey, and then he before that he got KO'd by Dawkins, and then KO'd, and by, KO'd by the Black Beast Derek Lewis, and he fucking humped the mat all over him when he went to sleep. I mean, it's bullshit. But we'll see what happens. You're, so you're around. so you're going Olenek? I'm going Olenek. I'm ride or die. You said round two choke out. Round two, I'm gonna go with like a round two rear naked choke. But he comes out of those crazy submissions sometimes. Like he's got. I really think he has like over sixty. Like real shit. I think he has like over sixty takedowns. Like this guy's fought so many fucking times. Mm-hmm. He has like thirty or forty submission victories. I mean, this guy is. I mean, he's the human boa constrictor. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Latifi. Just playing it safe here, really. I just. If it's not about Latifi. It's more about. I don't think. I just don't. 
and it hasn't and it has that much yeah, of the we tank. just know this. Like I said, it's a Russian takeover. He's fighting out of Moscow, True. Russia. True. He owns his, he owns his own gym. I'm pretty sure it's in Cleveland, Ohio. It is in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm pretty I'm sure it. it's in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. And Shout out, Steve. Those Ohioans are going to go crazy. I'm pretty sure AJ Hawk's going to be there. I mean, Urban Meyer might be there. Urban. Shout I mean, out, Urban. I mean, shout out. But then we're going to skip to the next fight. Okay. We got Kai Car France yep. versus Dagestani Askar Askarov. We'll start with him. Let's take a. Uh, we're gonna go to a, a little chief break here. This is something we're not used to in the Team Home Talk Show. We're from Washington. My friend JC was telling me, "Hey, you need to give the audience a little bit more of your background." I'm from Tacoma, Washington. I grew up smoking dag. For all those viewers that don't like it, you can go fuck yourself. If you do like it, which I'm sure you do, take a Ripsky with us, bud. Let's do a little, uh, what do we call that? We call little... Johnny Unitas. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Don't trademark that. We're not trying to get sued. Yeah, hey, Jesse, chill, chill, chill. But Johnny, right. you're going to unite us up here, and then we're all going to jump back in this podcast, really go over these fights. All right, let's take do the Ripsky. what we do. Right now, we're ripping the pin. little chief into the mic. If you can smell that, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> so it's 11.20. Okay. 11.20 on a Friday night. Friday night, 11.20. We decided not to go to a bar so we can give you guys a goddamn podcast so you guys can know what the <laughs> fuck to expect. <coughs> so where were we? We got fucking uh, oh, Dagestani versus yeah. the guy who knocked out Cody. So we're going Askar. He's a Russian. He's on the Eagle Fight Team. Honestly, never heard of it. Pretty sure that's Khabib's team. It's gotta be Khabib's team. But Khabib, he he fought out of San Jose, but I'm pretty sure that's his dad's Hispanic team. So he's undefeated. His only, like, I guess you'd call blemish on his record would be a draw against Brandon, the former champ. Hardly a blemish. Hardly a blemish to draw against the fucking... In his last fight, he beat Joseph Benavidez, and he put him into retirement because after that fight, Benavidez retired. And, and Joseph was coming back for that belt. And so that says something. I mean, that says something right there. But Kai Car France, he's an Auckland boy, right out of city kickboxing with the gang Israel, Dan Hooker, Alex, everybody. He uh-huh. KO'd Cody No Chin in his last fight. Cody No Chin. <laughs> so, <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know what that really says That's because fun. he got KO'd about four or five times in a row. But, to be honest, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I've never seen this guy before, before that fight. Like, I've heard of him, but I never, like... Before the Cody fight? Before the Cody fight, like, I don't... I might have watched a fight of his, but not really cared enough to, like... like remember or whatever. To, like, remember who... I mean, I, I, the name, yeah. I can't really recall it. It's just, fight he had before Cody. You know right, what I mean? Or the right. fight before that. I have no idea. Right. I know he's got nine losses. Yeah, and I think I think that's exactly why I'm going with the fucking Dagestani dude. Like you said, it's a goddamn Russian takeover. It's about, and the, Anytime boys. he's trained with Khabib, I mean, what is he, 14-0-1? He's 14-0-1. Like I said, his only draw is the to fucking the champ. champ who's fighting for the belt. In two months, they're running Diego. Just speaking of, in case nobody knew, breaking news, Diego and Moreno 4 is coming out in the summer. Has to. No, it is. It's already been announced. Really? Yeah. That's the next title fight. It's Moreno, Diego. Diego. Running it back because he beat him in the last fight, split decision. Yeah, and then Figueroa. And then before Figueroa. that, and then we, before that, Figueroa lost. To Davison. Him. I don't know why I said Diego. I'm sorry, I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, Davison, you said Diego's not. Sound it's right. Davison Figueroa. I'm sorry <laughs> I said that. I'm a piece of shit for that one. Yeah, dude. You're, I mean, we gotta cut the podcast from this guy. But we'll skip to the next, Brian. We got a, a battle of the legends. Okay, no, let's go. Let's make it make it clear. You're going. I'm going Russian. Like I said, it's a Russian. fucking I'm Russian also takeover. Going Russian. I'm also going Russian. But I will give Kai Car France's respect. Yeah. He, he put Cody No Chin down, and I mean, I don't know what that says, but he looked good doing it. It's true. I don't know how much that says. That's Cody's 125 debut. Mm-hmm. 
He welcomed to the flyweight division with the KO. Nothing new for him. Casual night at the office for Cody. <laughs> what is Kai Car France gonna do after that? We'll see. Okay, next one. What we got? Like I said, we got two legends. We got Matt fucking Brown. Matt fucking Brown. And he's in Ohio. He's an Ohioan. Fighting in Ohio. Might be his retirement <laughs> fight. I haven't heard anything of it. My guy here in Hawaii, I, I haven't got the inside yet. Right. Doesn't answer my calls. I don't really know him. He's not really well, my guy. Well, you and Ariel have always been close. You know? so it's like, <laughs> close enough to where I listen to his podcast, and right. that's about it. But... He's fighting out of a mortal, a mortal fight team. He's 41, and he's still fucking slanging and banging. KO Diego Lima in his last fight. The guy's a brawler. And I don't know if you remember that. You remember that fucking, like, real shit? You remember that spinning elbow knockout he had, like, two or three years ago? That was, like, a loose fight. But, like, uh, not specific. I can't almost, like the, almost like the Molly McCann elbow in the last, last that weekend. That same style. Like, he hit, like... It was, uh, yeah, he had, it was nasty. It was, like, it was, well, that's when I really started picking up to that guy. He was like, he almost rejuvenated his career a little bit. He was like, at yeah. the time, he was like 38. Like, you know, this is two, three years ago. He's like 38. I think, I, I think I remember something like, I can't remember yeah. who he was fighting, but, no, it was, I mean, I mean. Man, Matt Brown's a fucking fighter. Through. But he's, but he is fighting Brian Barberino, Barberina. And that guy's a scrappy motherfucker from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I don't know shit about him. To be honest, I don't know a lot about him, but I've seen a few of his fights. He wild, you know. He'll fucking he'll stand up, he'll bang. He's fast. He's. I mean, that's really all I know about him too much. Is he's gay? You know what I mean? Like right. he, he doesn't run. Like, he's like Jesse Gay Cheese. So he's you, down to fucking say, bite his mouthpiece and throw down. Would you say we're that might be set up for fight of the night? Uh, Two game fighters. Look at this card. I don't know if that's gonna be fight of the night. I could very well just tell you that somebody's going to sleep. Somebody's getting Some, put out. Somebody's getting KO'd. Yeah, TKO'd or KO'd. Somebody's getting put out. Yeah. Like I said before, I don't know if I mentioned this. Oh, that was a different fight. I think it's the same boat here, honestly, that losers out, winners in. As in, losers fight. this fight. A lot of fight. fights like that in this card. The UFC's getting ruthless. I mean, loser this fight's probably cut Wednesday next week. Winner this fight... They got another fight to prove they're still worth it. You got two guys that are old. And, I mean, the thing is, they keep winning. So, some of those guys, you know, that have just been around, Dana likes taking care of them. I mean, that's the yeah. thing that he'll take care of you until you start losing. You know, I mean, once you start losing fights, then he he's like, hey, it's time to hang them up. Yeah. And, you know, Matt Brown will bring it back. Like you said, he KO'd Diego Lima in his last fight. So, he's on the win streak. Brian Barberina. He won by unanimous decision against Darian Weeks. Don't know who that is, but he fucking won. So, I, I mean, I'm going Matt Brown. Oh, I'm going Matt Brown. Matt Brown? I didn't think that was in question. Let's get a shot up for Matt Brown, folks. Like I said, we're from Tacoma, Washington. If we ain't smoking weed, we drinking drinks, man. And tonight we're going cheap. Tanner, going cheap. Tanner, this, this, Tanner brought the wild turkey. This, this uh, podcast is brought to you by Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It is uh, oh, mastered by Eddie. Son of a bitch. It's Eddie a bourbon Russell. Bitch. And, uh, I mean, why don't you go ahead and take a shot with us? Let's all pop into Jolly Rancher and take a shot for the whole podcast right now. Shit. I bust them out, but I won't do it disrespectfully. I'll just have this to podcast is also brought to you by Twizzlers Pull and Peel. JC's favorite candy. And if you guys would sponsor me, maybe give me two free bags a month. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for the world here, right? Just two, maybe two free bags of Twizzlers a month. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. Get the fucking Twizzlers out of the shits. Hey, 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 hey. Paisan. Right, let's take this shot. Let's take this shot. First... While we take this shot, you guys think about this next fight. We got Joanne Calderwood mm. versus Alexa Grasso. Mm. It's I mean it's a stylistic matchup if you ask me. We got two strikers going at it. One Mexican boxer versus a Scottish kickboxer slash Muay Thai fighter. Joanne Calderwood. So we'll see where this one goes. Alright. Shots up.
Anybody else take a shot? They immediately regret the whole life. Also, this uh, podcast is brought to you by, by the uh, T Bloom headquarters located in Puyallup, Washington. If you guys have not been there, it's a spectacle. You need to show up. It's something you can take your kids, your family to. You can take a picture of the outside and maybe meet and greet the uh, employees that work in it. Uh, go ahead and message me on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you might be hearing this, and we, we can set up an invitation. Invitation only, though. Back to what we were saying. I mean, you might even get the job shadow tanner for the day. Okay. Check out what you That's why, okay. We're working on that process. Just just go ahead and send me an email at tannerbloom at yahoo.com. That is T-A-N-N-E-R-B-L-O-O-M at yahoo.com, and we can try and make something happen. Back to the fights, though. This one I'm honestly pretty pumped for because I'm going to say it right now. Grasso, she's my girl. And I don't know if it's because she's from Guadalajara, Mexico, and I've been there, and I've seen it, and I've done it, and I'm whoosh, and a beesh, and a bash. I also think that I think just like you're saying it's Russians here, I think Brandon Moreno stepped in and broke through for the Mexicans, for Mexico. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Grasso here. I mean that's all, I mean that's that's fucking true. Think about it. Can you name three Mexican fighters that are honestly at the top of the divisions besides Brandon Moreno? And Alexi Grosso's about middle of the tier. I mean I mean you had Kane as a champ back in the day. Kane, yeah. But he but was besides, hardly Me- he wasn't from Mexico. I'm pretty he sure was he was American Mexican. He was American Mexican, yeah. But like I mean, ooh, I mean that's what I'm saying. I can't. I can't either. I mean, I'm not saying there isn't a good fighter out of Mexico. Right, obviously. Wrong. Obviously, I mean, obviously got, there's Mexican fighters out there. Because you've got Aldana in the women's 135 division. But at the same time, like, yeah, these, I mean, she's putting on. She's got Mexico on her back, behind her back. She's a boxer. She's mm-hmm. got fast hands. This fight stays yeah. on the feet. I don't, I don't see her losing this fight. Julianne Wood, I don't know much about her. I, I, she's, All I know she's, is what, she 16? lost her last two fights. She's seasoned. She, she, seasoned. She, she was actually on, and that's another thing. You bring it way back. She was on the original, the very first women's ultimate fighter season. Really? And that's when they made the 125, or it might even been the 135. I can't remember what it was at the time. She might be fighting 125 She was on the first now. season of the women's tough? The women's tough. She was... Look way back. You have a young, young, young Joanne Calder went on there fighting. She lost. Right. But that division was not necessarily take, like, that wasn't like the normal one where you're fighting for a contract. That was you're fighting for the title. Right. And everybody in that was already a UFC fighter. You know what I mean? Like, she, like, they signed her because that was a whole new, like, that was the first women's division. Yeah, it's that's like, when every, brought, that's like, when they brought women's yeah. into the game. To the UFC, like that was like she was part of that. And I remember watching. How long ago was that? You think? I mean, I couldn't tell you exactly, but I would say probably like 2000, 2010, 2011. That maybe. that recent? Yeah, I mean, women. You got to think, women's MMA really didn't jump in. I mean, Ronda was a champ at what, like 2015 when she was blowing up. True. Yeah. 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 Women's have made it start until probably at least 2010. I, mean, I could be wrong. Like I said, I didn't do any research on this. But all I know is, oh, excuse me. Oh, the, burp, the burpees are coming out. Oh. But she's good. I mean, she's good. She's the Scottish. She's. I mean, she's good. Like, But I don't, she's just kind of one of those fighters that are just middle of the pack. Right. Don't ever see her being champ, but she's, I don't ever see her getting cut. She can win fights. She can lose fights. Uh-huh. She's an entertaining fight, but at the end of the day, like, I see Grasso being one of the next women's champs. And That's what I'm saying, Drew. Are you, are you going Grasso, too? I'm going Grasso. I mean, I, I'd put the house on it. If you're betting, man, you bet the house on Grasso to If you're a bet man and you still got funds left in my bookie, you fucking just send it, dude. Just fucking send it. I mean, because some of us aren't that. I mean, we we don't have that luxury to have money in our account. So if you got talk money about in account, that for a second. Why is Washington State just so fucking left out of the whole sports betting shit? I went to Arizona. I went to Arizona. Yeah, put the twizzlers. I gotta put. The, hey, I'm fat. I like twizzlers. He has to make weight in two weeks. Yeah, put the twizzlers away. Twizzlers are going away. Just drop something. 
But, but why is it that in Washington State? I could tell you why. But you, I don't want to get into that. It's a stupid rule. But it comes down to all the tribal, the tribes. They want to be the ones to make the to money make the off money of off of it. Yeah, they want you. you they want That's you to drive they, to Tulalip on thirty. Fuck it, or fucking. They're going to drive to the AQC all the way down there to place a bet. Yeah. They, it doesn't make no sense, but that's why, hey, we are what we are. You we know are what I mean? We are, and that's all you can do. Grosso's going to win it, so don't even watch it. That's how fucking guaranteed it is. The shitty thing is, we're already at the fucking main card. We might keep this going for We might hours. have to. We might run an after-hours show. But we're, at the main, we're at the main event. Main right card. Here. Let's get through. Let's get the people what they want. Main event right here. We got Curtis Razor Blades versus oh, Brian, oh, oh, or oh, 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 oh. versus Chris Dacus. I don't know if it's Chris or Brian. I'm a piece of shit because I'm a little buzz right now, and he's got his brother in the UFC. I think it's Chris. I think it's Chris Dawkins. I'm going to go with Chris because I know that's the heavyweight. Curtis Blades. He's a wrestler. He's fighting out of Illinois. Naperville, to be exact. Dutch style MMA. I mean, come on. doesn't get much better than that. To be right. honest, I don't know who the fuck Dutch style MMA is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really honest. But all I know is he does train in Colorado with Justin Gaethje and the boys. Elevation fight team. I don't know if he's getting that special training from fucking Trevor Whitman. I doubt it. But still, I mean, this guy, he's a fucking, he's a beast. Last fight, he beat, Jair, or he beat Rosenstrike. Right. By decisions, I mean, but before that, he got slept, literally put to sleep by the Black Beast. I mean, he got put to bed. He's gonna have to. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Curtis Blades. You're going Blades. I'm going Blades just because I know more about him. And I, well, let me break down Dawkins a little bit for you. He's well, from Philly. Break it down for me. Maybe I'll change my mind. He's from Philly. Just know that he's a tough guy. He's from Philly, right? He used to be a cop. Was he a dirty cop? Was he a good cop? Who fucking knows? I don't know, we'll but he's not know. a cop anymore. So that huh. might well, that might tell you something. That might say everything you need to know right there. <laughs> oh, I, guy used to be a cop. But what the crazy decided to not be a cop? You tell me what he was doing. And he folks. got into fighting. So I mean, you take that as it is. You guys, let me know. Maybe send an email to Tanner Bloom at yahoo.com. And let him know your thoughts on that. Maybe he can get you linked up. You might be the new booker for the show. If you guys want to work on booking some guests for the show for Tanner, just let me know. Send him an email. Tanner, what's the email one more time so they know? That is TannerBloom at Yahoo.com. T-A-N-N-E-R-B-L-O-O-M at Yahoo.com. But I got a funny fact for you. Okay. So you know what these two guys have in common? What? Exactly in common? What? They both got knocked the fuck out by the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Sheesh. Brian Dawkins, it was his last fight. Curtis Blades, it was two fights ago. Within the last year, they both got put to bed by Derek Lewis. And they're going out at Saturday night, main event. You got, you said This is Curtis like Blades. a fucking semifinals almost. For a fucking Who gets redemption round robin. Lewis. I mean, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, I mean... Who's the one of this fight gonna fight? Let's see. Let's see the fight. Well, I see. I mean, I think both the uh, Ty Tuivasa's out there. Ty Tuivasa's making a name for himself. I mean, who's he gonna fight? I, he, I think. Who's John Jones I think gonna he fight? He wants Stipe. Ty Tuivasa wants Stipe. Is John Jones ever gonna fight again? I think he fights in July, International Fight Week. John Jones. You're going to see John Jones versus Ciro Gunn. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to see John Jones Steve versus Steve. Yeah. Don't hold me to it. But if he fights again, I mean, he's going to come to a point where he's run out of money. I mean, this guy's been out for over a year. He needs to this guy's got a lot of charges. I mean, system. his court fees, his baby mama left him. He's, he's going to be paying up. So this guy needs to fight. All right, so... <laughs> this guy needs to fight. Johnny Bones, if you can hear me right now, you need to accept the fight. Go accept fight. it, dude. If just... you need to go back down to light heavyweight, do what you gotta do. You're not getting the title fight. You don't want the title fight. I too. Him and Francis? See that? Him and Francis? I want to see John fight one fight at heavyweight, and then I want to see I John I want to see Francis. John fight Steven. Steve is a small heavyweight. He's a 
It's like that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he like, can wrestle. But I don't want to see Stipe lose. But I don't want to see John it's lose. It's like this one of them's got to lose because they. It's coming to that point. It's coming to that point. Father Time catches everybody. Stipe has never been in the seven. Probably somewhere around there. It's like, well, I, okay, so who, who, who are we going? Uh, who, I'm going Curtis Blades. You're going Blades? I'm going to throw you guys off here. I'm going Docus. Docs. You know really why? I mean, he used to be a cop. I mean, like I said, take it as it is. He's not a cop anymore. But he's also the biggest The biggest advantage Curtis Blades has on most opponents is he can out wrestle. Right. He can take it down. And if he can out wrestle you, he usually loses. And Docus is a... He's a black belt, BJJ. Fighting out a motherfucker. And Curtis Blade, uh, he's got the most takedowns in UFC heavyweight history. He's a wrestler. Close. He's a wrestler. It's, re- it's classic right here. So not the wrestler versus striker, but at the same time, it's wrestling. This could be a boring fight. I think it's going to be a stand-up. You think they're just stand up and shoot it? To the ground. I think it's going to be a stand-up bang. Right. And someone's going to be And speaking of, I think JC's getting really tired here, folks. He's gonna go ahead and call it a. It might be JC's time for bed, but I got one thing. Ooh. If you guys want to run a parlay tomorrow, okay. I got a pretty good parlay I'm taking. Yep. I'm not on the site right now. I'm not looking at anything, so we're running straight money line bets. Money line. We can parlay these together. Take Docus. Don't know the odds, so I can't give you any odds here. Don't know which website you're betting on. Straight money line, bogus. You parlay do it. these four fights together, and I guarantee you it'll be over a one plus one thousand odds. Doesn't matter what site you're on. You take Dacus. Yep. You take Grasso. Yep. You take Matt Brown, oh. and you take Askar Askarov. You parlay that together. You know what? We'll give you a fucking five. Oh, We're gonna give shit. you We're going five. Guys. We're leg gonna, parlay right off the rip. JC's then, giving it to you. And then you're taking motherfucking Olenek. That's going to boost your odds way up. You take Olenek, you take Askar, you take Matt Brown, Alexa uh, okay. Grosso, and Get you out. take Dacus all together in one parlay, and you send that email to Tanner Bloom. Let us know how much money you won. Again, that is T-A-N-N-E-R-B-L-O-O-M at Yahoo.com. Send us your questions. Send us who you want to hear on the next podcast. JC's going to be here for the next, I don't know, ever. And then I mean, you, you tell me what you want to hear. We're always li- listening for feedback. Before we go, I want to ask you a question, JC. I want to hear your top five, just off the dome. No looking shit up, off the dome. Your top five, pound for pound. Take your ribski. As we know, this uh, podcast is brought to you by uh, TechniQ. Uh, uh, we're going to actually say this is brought to you by Dabstract, a local company out of Washington. They've been doing it right. Shit. The best oil you will get your hands on in Washington. Legal. Legal cannabis. May, let, let's... Put it that way. We're in a legal state here. There's nothing illegal going on here. There's nothing wrong with it. <coughs> so, <coughs> you want to take my <coughs> top five power rankings? Well, I'm going to start right now. Number one, Kamara Usman. Ah, oh, shit. <coughs> Kamaru? Yeah, we're taking Kamara. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, folks. He's got a little coffee cough. And then, Did I mention he's wearing a Tar, tar Heels sweatshirt? Shout out the North Carolina Tar Heels for advancing to the Elite Eight. I mean, it was a fucking wonderful game. They fucking just beat uh, UCLA. There we go. There Fuck we go. the Pac-12. Yeah, Tar Heels all day. They're going to win the chip. If it wasn't Zaga, it was going to be the Tar Heels. But we'll take it back. Like I said, I started with Usman. Yep. He's number one. Okay. And this, I mean, to be honest, it gets real tough. I don't even... Just I, throw them out. The thing is, I haven't looked at the, I haven't looked at the pound for pound, so I'm always going to be different than what the pound for pound. That's what we want. If you don't want it, we don't I want don't, you to say what you can go and look up on UFC.com. I don't com. look at the fucking pound for pound because you know what? I go off with who I think is the best. People aren't going to like who I take at number two. You're not going to love it, but you got to respect it. 
Are we going men's or both? <laughs> just straight men's. Oh, just straight men's? Oh, no. <coughs> okay, yeah, no. Go, no, no, go we'll female go, fighters, too. Then. No, don't worry. We'll go men's. So if we're going to go men's. Because, yeah, I mean, female, you put female in. You're going to take. Chef Chanko's got to be there. I was going to put her, too. To be honest, I was going to put Chef Chanko next. Chef Chanko is fucking. Yeah. But if you want to go number two in the men's. I mean, it sounds this sounds crazy, and nobody's gonna be, no, nobody's gonna agree with me. But Alexander Volkanovsky, he hasn't lost a fucking fight in the UFC. Mm-hmm. He fights his title because he he's had a title fight coming up next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend. Korean Zombie, but I mean, this guy's lost one fight in the fucking UFC. I mean, you can argue he's lost to Max Holloway. That's some close fights. I argue Max won the last fight, but he won. Is fucking, I mean, he's got multiple title defenses, never lost a fight, and like I said, I mean, this guy's, I mean, he's a beast. He's an absolute fucking beast. And so we got we, Kamaru, Alex, Alex, and then if we're gonna go at number three, that's where it, honestly, it gets fucking tough. Then, you got a little stumper. Stumping JC right here. His first time on the podcast. He's feeling a little bit of pressure. What you gonna pull out for number three? I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably, to be honest, I'm probably rolling with Charles Dubronx. His win streak. Charles? I mean, who's gonna stop at 155 unless Khabib comes back? I, I mean, I him and Gage here coming know. up too. I thought he got stopped by Michael Chandler. Then I thought he got stopped by fucking Dustin. And, and he, he pulled them both out. He, I mean, I'm talking about as of right now. You know what I mean? Dude, like Charlie right Olives should definitely be in there. I mean, he might not be two, but he's. I'm putting him at two because when you I'm You put him at three. Yeah. Am I? Yeah, because you put Kamaru. Yeah, he's at three. Oh, three. Al- he fits Alexander. perfect at three. Because, yeah. I mean, you got to think about it. You're going champs here. You're not taking yeah. anybody. And 155 is champ. one of the hardest divisions in the fucking I mean, he's world. he's beating killers. He's on like a 13, 14 fight win streak. He's mm-hmm. taking out the best of the best. I mean, he's Tony Ferguson to Dustin to Michael Chandler. He's got Justin. Yeah. Justin go next. I mean, and Justin's one of my guys, but I'm not taking him in the top five. I mean, then you got to go Izzy. That's what I was waiting for. But That's at the same time, I don't know right if I there. want to take him number four because... Because who? Well, a wrestler, like if Hazmat, Chimai uh, comes okay. up to middleweight. He he no, I say he's not in. No, he's not in. But I'm saying, like, I don't know if I put... Is he... It's hard to put him in because what's he like, What's what? he going to do on the ground game against a good... Like Yon? Yeah, like, it doesn't matter about the weight. It's like, if some guy that's just like a Colby comes up to 185, I mean, if... I mean that that'd be well, who fight. else would you put? I put side? Colby number four. Put Colby number four before Izzy. Well, it's yeah, those, 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 at least those are my four and five. That's what's tough. Four or five. I honestly, in the back of my head, like I, I honestly feel like Colby might be able to beat Izzy if he get up to one eighty five. Mm-hmm. I feel like he could probably beat him because this is their styles. That his style matches up better against Izzy. Than it does Usman. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, absolutely. Because Usman's a Usman wrestler. Usman could probably beat Izzy too. I mean, if he really wanted to, that's why they're not fighting. Because they probably both know what's in the And they're both from Nigeria. So that's what makes it tough. And that's my top five, though. Who the fuck's your top five? Well, I mean, you gotta go number one. Fuck it. Uh, that's that dude's locked. just been. I remember since back in the day when you used to live in uh, Auburn. We saw him beat fucking Tyron Woodley. Getting a Twizzler. Oh, yeah. Right. Getting a Twizzler. We're getting it packed. Get your popcorn ready. It's going to get interesting. Listen to Tanner's top five. We, got I mean, we both agree on that. Usman one. number one, for sure. You, you can't fuck with this one. Number two. Uh, fuck, it is tough. I'm honestly going to put Izzy number two. For his weight class, I'm going to put Izzy number two. Because he beat Robert Whitaker twice. Which uh-huh. is a fucking... It's, that's a tough fucking fight. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. He beats... I mean, Rob uh-huh. beats anybody else he fights. And you know what sucks? If Peter Yan didn't give fucking Aljamain the most disrespectful knee of all time, 
he, he would be sitting there right up there as well. I mean, that's the guy I thought of because it is crazy to think that Al Jermaine's a champ. When I go to that fight, I, I mean, in my head, Peter I was still fuck. Peter, Peter, that Peter was winning that fight. I, mean, I still go in my head thinking that Peter's kind of the champ. So yeah. I think he needs to be there. That's a good call. So for uh, for so I got number one, Usman. Usman. Two, Izzy. Three. That's it. I'm gonna go fucking. Somebody left off mine. Give me Nagano. Okay. Give me Nagano. That's a good one. I mean, he. But is he number? I mean, pound for pound, I get. That's a tough one. I mean, it, he showed a lot of his wrestling in his last fight, so that good. That's what it did for me. It was like he showed, like, hey, you're not going to out wrestle me. And if you're an average wrestler, obviously, he's really not. Did you hear what Cyril Gon said about. Sorry, no, Jack, did you hear what he said about Aspinall? Aspinall? Yeah, I think Aspinall was the last one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What'd he say? He was just talking about it. He's like, to be honest, like, that guy's a problem for the lady. He's like, he's better. He said that? He straight said it's in like, he said, he's a better striker than I am. He's better on the ground than I am. He's like, to be honest, he's an all around better fighter than I am. He's like, he's a problem. So, be on the ride. I mean, you don't look at him. I see her gone. Tom number Aspen. one, number one fucking, number one guy in the heavyweight just lost the title fight. Is saying that, is admitting that that guy could beat him in any fight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that kind of caught me off guard. I would have never thought that. Um, you don't hear guys say that shit. No, not at all. Uh, so three is uh, Nagano. Yep. Yeah, all, sure. all three, all three Nigerian. Shout out Nigeria. Yeah, that's pretty great. That's Number four, we'll go fucking. I gotta go Alexander. Yeah, I mean that's. Dude's just. It's almost you can almost put Max. Because to be able to beat Max. In parentheses, beat Max twice. Like, that is, that's tough. That's so tough. And number five, no one's going to like it, but, I mean, John Jones. John Jones. That's a good call. Like, fucking, even though he hasn't that's fought. That's a good call. Like, John Jones is still top five in the fucking UFC. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that, I mean. Oh, he you know. definitely is. See, people don't even think about that. He hasn't fought in two years. Yeah. People start to forget. Like, I didn't even, like, think about him enough. But he is. But at the same time. I think John Jones fucking puts it in. I mean, do have, we have any more topics? Or we? That's all I got. We can freehand it. Should we? Okay, let's go shots up. We might go for five more minutes. We might go for 20 more minutes. We'll see where the conversations come. We don't want to bore you guys. Let's go shots up. If you're If you're with us. We could get into a little bit of WrestleMania talk. Yeah, I'm down for a little WrestleMania talk. How about we do our top five WWE slash WWF wrestlers? <laughs> Take a shot of Coke. A shot of Coke. I'm going to do a top five. Top five. Top five wrestlers. But the thing is, right off the get go. I know it's my number one. Uh, if he's if we agree on this, we take him out. Okay, you say you say your number one though. Undertaker. Shake hands with me. One. If you guys can see this, we're shaking hands. That is absolutely has to be. Drew sure. talks about all, that all the time. Like Undertaker. When he says, "Hey, bring up your top 10, he's like, "Did you say number one, Undertaker?" He's like, "Obviously." Yeah, it's like, it's like so we're gonna take him out because we all know Undertaker's number one. He's the greatest. You just leave him out of there. Because, I mean, he's the most loyal, he's the best guy he could ever. I mean, he's just the best. Yeah. Number two. Let's just trade this time. Let's all trade your one, you trade my one. Uh, Who's yeah. your one? Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's your, he's your one? Okay, yeah, take I, 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 well, no, I, like, we're over. Take, oh, take, okay, yeah, okay. Let's fuck it. I'm not even No, like, dude. Take, take her out of it. <laughs> take, take her out of it. Okay, yeah, I mean, after Taker, yeah, you gotta go Stone Cold. <gasps> what? Beer? <gasps> Shots? <gasps> Turkey? <gasps> Wild? <gasps> Shots? <gasps> More shots? <gasps> no, he's number two. I mean, he's just, he's, yeah. 
It's either him or The Rock, I feel like. Well, I mean, that was who I was getting to. That's my number three. That's your three? I don't know who's after Stone Cold. It's after Stone Cold. Do you Undertaker, Stone Cold? No, I'm saying I trade my one. Okay, so two. Two, sorry. Yeah, sorry. So, he, so he's two. Yeah, Undertaker. Undertaker's out of the question. Well, he's number one. Just to make sure everybody knows. Okay, that. let's say Undertaker's, Undertaker's number, number one. one. And you got Stone Cold. I mean, that's the next guy up. Right. Then it goes Rocky. And those two were interchangeable. Like, I wouldn't put anything against you if you took the Rock oh. number one. Oh, no. No, nothing at all. Rock it's just what a star. It, yeah, Rock is... Rock... It comes down to who you take it at. Next. This is where we're going to start splitting. Yeah, right? this is this is where it all goes haywire. Because then you got to think about it. Overall, I mean, you got to go... I mean, you could go all the way back to fucking Hulk Hogan. He's not my guy, but I mean, some people might think Hulk Hogan. I mean, it's, I mean, or Bret Hart or Bret Hart. Like, yeah, you know, there's just so many guys that. Yeah. Roddy Piper, but we don't. We were too young to watch that shit, so we're gonna go kind of our generation. I'm 27. Tanner's 20, 20, almost 25. Right. He's I'm, let, I'm gonna let him struggle on this one. Well, because I know I'm two years older, but his right. birthday's coming up. I won't tell you his name. I'm not his name. I won't, tell you, <laughs> I won't tell you his real name because Tanner's not his name. But I won't tell you his birthday because I don't want anybody doing anything crazy. So I know he's about to turn 25 pretty soon. I'm 24 years old. And God damn it. I, I mean, for three, for three. Oh, this sucks, dude. This uh, Brock Lesnar, maybe? I'm going Brock Lesnar just for the sake of the podcast. I'm going to go Brock Lesnar. I'm not going to be Going oh, Brock. All right, all right, all right. That's actually a good one. That's. I mean, if you think back to it, that's not bad. But I'm going Goldberg. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's disrespectful. But that's because I watched WCW. I mean, there's so many ways you can go. So we're the four just off the fuck. Four John Cena. John Cena's in the top five. I'm going Kane. Kane? He's been around since 1997. WWF. Give me a splash, dude. I mean, think about all the matches that Kane. I mean, he might not have been the most advertisable guy like John Cena was. I mean, John Cena's one of those guys, but Kane's one of those staple book WWF, WWE guys. Been around, been consistent. And his ring work. He was jumping off turnbuckles, doing clotheslines. Yeah, 300 fucking plus pounds. Dude, that's seven good. foot damn near, jumping off fucking turnbuckles. Like, that's... Yeah, he's a good ass dude. Athlete. I see also, I might be biased because I've been watching a lot of old school WWF recently, right. so I haven't watched a lot of new shit. But John Cena's a great so your force Kane, my force John Cena. Let's go five. Fucking, I'm gonna go. Shawn Michaels. That's a pick. That's a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Shawnee. Oh, that's a good one. I'm like trying to really think right now. Something out. I'm gonna give it ten more seconds and then maybe fifteen. That's about what I'm thinking. I mean, really want to take Shawn Michaels. I'm trying to really go to the bigger ones. Go ahead, take your time. While you're taking your time, we're going to remind you that, that this podcast is brought to you here by Wild Turkey, Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey, Eddie Bauer himself. Um, if you guys ever need a hookup on it, I can go buy it from you or for you for a little fourteen ninety nine at the goddamn grocery outlet right at the street. Also, this podcast is brought to you by me, Tanner Bloom, a.k.a. T. Bloom. Anytime you need a shout out, anytime you want to be on the podcast, just go ahead and email me at tannerbloom at yahoo.com. T A N N E R Bloom, B L O O M, at yahoo.com. JC, what is your final fucking fifth? All right, this might throw some people off, but I honestly, I feel like it's a good one. And like I said, I mean, I might be biased because of my generation, but I'm going Triple H. How fitting. Did you see what happened with him in the news? He announced his like official ring retire, like he'll never. Oh really? I guess he has a defibrillator in his heart. 
and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I heard he actually. That's was. a great one though. Number five, Triple H. That legend. I mean, it is. It is tough because you leave so many people out of it. Yeah, but so you got to pick and choose who's really been around the longest. There's guys like Vinny Guerrero, uh, Kurt Angle, fuck it. Yeah. Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Wasn't ever like a heavyweight champion. Yeah. 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 Still just now got out of it. Chris Jericho. Oh, f- fucking Chris Jericho. Look, guys, we're not going to fucking bore you to sleep right here. I got to take a piss, to be honest with you. We're going to end it out right here. JC Edwards, special guest on the show. I appreciate you for coming, dude. It's fucking always a pleasure. I hope to have you back next Friday when we do the next fights. I'll try my best. I mean, next Friday is a big week, so I'll be here. As long as he's paying, I'll be here. So, guys, just... Be on the lookout for that. We're going to shout this out on all the platforms. Get Tanner some real fucking viewers. This guy, I'm tired of this guy not getting the love he deserves. So you guys fucking tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your grandparents, tell your cousins, tell your nieces, tell your nephews. Get this guy in your fucking life. Teeth Wound Podcast. Special guest JC might take it over. Who knows? (laughs) We'll see you next time. All right. We out.